what we're looking at is the idea that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is actually a reflection of the nature of the Holy Spirit himself. And the particular fruit of the Spirit we're looking at now, or tonight, is that of patience. The idea of the Holy Spirit who gives patience must himself be patient. And I guess the doubt that creeps in is, well, OK, he's patient, but will he be patient with me? Because you know, we know all the kind of things that are going on in our lives. Is he really going to be patient with me? Let's think about this for a moment. The Holy Spirit's been dwelling in us, you know, in, in humanity, you know, in this new way since Pentecost for over 2,000 years. Over that time, he has seen the struggles and the fears and the anxieties of so, so many people. There really can't be much he hasn't seen. And so whatever struggle you might be facing, hundreds, thousands, millions of believers have been struggling in a similar fashion. Whether it's, it's doubt, or struggling with temptation, or holding on when things are not going well, coping with failure, whatever it might be. You know, the Holy Spirit is not within you, wringing his hands in despair. Because nothing we go through is taking him by surprise. He has strengthened and comforted countless people. He's nurtured and grown faith in people just like you and I. You know, he's not shaking his head in despair at us. You know, is this one stupid or something? Don't they get it? No, he's seen people like us and he sees you. He loves us. He loves you. He loves being with you. There is within you part of the Godhead that is infinitely patient, infinitely loving, infinitely seeking to draw us back to what Jesus has done for us, seeking to bring us back to the incredible love that Father God has for us. Now, that doesn't mean that at times he doesn't seek to correct us or to convict us, but he does those things with the express intention of bringing us back to the Father's heart for us. So when he convicts us, it's to bring us back, not to throw us away, because he is patient and waiting and longing more than anything else to, to, to encourage that, that deep relationship that he wants to see us have with Father God. And so whatever you might be feeling about your your Christian life, your spiritual life, he is patient. He always has been and he always will be.